and her name is Bonnie. And we named her after Ivanka Trump because she was born right around, uh, actually, Donald Trump's birthday. And that one walking off there, he's Donnie, and he was named after Donald Trump. And so Donnie and Bonnie here are like a week apart. And then our other baby we had last summer is Coco Puff, the chocolate one here. And um, they each have their own personality. Oh, okay, there's Amy. She's got a mouthful. And Amy uh, is the mother of, oh gosh, she's just really showing off to you, isn't she? So Amy is the mother of Bonnie over here and also the mother of Simone. And Simone is the mother of Donnie out there. to keep your males separated. And this here is Lorraine. She is our oldest. She's like 14 years old. She was born in 2006 and then um, so she had My three babies were all born within five weeks last summer, so I had my hands full. So now that all of our snow is melting, I'm going to uh, continue my halter training with them, and hopefully I can send you some updated pictures when I have them on halter, halters, and, and I lead them outside the pen here. But this is just to be out here and just watching them eat and just being around them is just so relaxing. You know, it says in Genesis 2, I believe, verses 19 through 20, that God made the animals out of dust as well. And he put man in charge of them and actually gave man the responsibility of naming each one. And it says God kind of waited to see what man would name each animal and so we have alpaca isn't that interesting but they're just so fun to have around yes, sir. oh they love yeah yes sir come here they'll spit at you if give them their treats right away or they'll spit at each other vying for the best spot when it comes to eating or um, but other than that they're pretty uh, they don't bother you or they don't so then I have another guy way over there. His name is Granby. And I believe they named him after Granby, Colorado. There's a town, Granby, Colorado. And then I want to show you, we got Gordy the cow. We're going to butcher him someday for some hamburger. And then we've got Kiba. Kiba is a Weimariner, and she's about 12 years old. And uh, recently, our daughter just got this dog, Golden Retriever, and named him Brinkley. Brinkley Ferguson, what are you after? There. And Simone, she's just always, it, it's almost like she wants to get close to you, but doesn't know how. But isn't this a fun picture right there? Just seeing them all eat and I just put some fresh hay in their feeder. So they love it. They have a big pasture here and that little shed is what they go in when it's blizzarding or raining. 
And then we have a Noah's Ark built out there. That pen. And Gordy went in there several times this winter. And then uh, Granby over there has a bin behind the garage or behind the barn there that he goes into. So, and see, that's our barn. And I'm going to be going upstairs there. And I'm going to do like a life lesson up there on video. And we'll just combine the two together and just have fun with this. And if you guys have any questions, I want you to have uh, asked Deanne and maybe she can get, get them back to me or any other kind of content you want me to share. But um, my alpacas keep me busy. I do chores every morning and, and then I check on them at night and make sure that their water is full or that they have enough to get by. And then let's look at Gordy here. I use a wheelbarrow and he gets like three coffee cans full of corn. I think he's gonna go to the meat locker in a couple of weeks, so. So anyway, that's it for now and I'll see you in the in the barn, okay?